In this video, I will examine the steps required to install Clip Bucket. Clip Bucket is a popular video hosting platform similar to YouTube. You can host videos, photos, and other important doc related documents uh, just like what you do via YouTube. Only exception is that you have your own video portal rather than depending upon other third party companies like uh, YouTube, Vimeo. And uh, you, suppose if you have uploaded thousands of videos to YouTube and one fine morning YouTube says you have to pay, then you will be in the trouble. So it's best. So if you are into the video hosting, if you want to host video site, then it's better that you create your own portal so that you need not have to depend upon others. So uh, before installing Split Bucket, you have to log into the cPanel control panel and uh, create a subdomain because we will install Clip Bucket inside the subdomain. So you are in the domain section, you will see subdomains, click on it. And, uh, you have to provide a subdomain name like uh, Rvix Demo. And uh, select a domain name like this and create. Now you have created a subdomain like rvsdemo.ernestbus.com. Now the important point is to notice that you will find if you FTP to the uh, your server, you will find a folder called rvsdemo. So we will install clip bucket inside this subdomain. cPanel provides a web-based installer called Softaculous. You have to scroll down, and you and you will see a uh, icon like Softaculous. Softaculous is a, is a popular script using which you can install several uh, PHP based uh, software scripts, portals, content management systems like WordPress, Joomla and Softaculous is a important uh, script. As you can see there are a lot of uh, Applications for Pantasta Shop is a shopping cart, Zoomla, Drupal is there, PSP, BB, open source forum solution. Everything is what you see here is all open source. Softaculous contain only open source scripts. Here you can see clip bucket. You will also if you are, you, you you will also locate uh, you can also locate this clip bucket here, video section. Click on, and as you can see, there are several other scripts over here. Let me tell you that uh, I have tested all these four scripts. Let me tell you that Clip Bucket is a popular number one software. You can try these four options, but uh, let me tell you that none of them match the features of Clip Bucket. I am not supporting Clip Bucket, but I am just telling the fact. So click on the clip bucket. You can see a dashboard like this. You can see version numbers 2.6, space required. I have already installed a clip bucket installation like tv.lunexpress.com is my site. I have already installed it. But for, for the purpose of this demo, I will install it once again into the subdomain we created just now. Select the install option here, and uh, you have to choose a domain. You, are, you, you need not have to create a database, database username, ever uh, anything. You just need to follow these steps. Select uh, your subdomain. Uh, you can select the subdomain name. In directory, uh, by default, a, a directory name is provided. I am just deleting it because otherwise, the Clip bucket will be installed inside this particular folder. In this case, I have to, I, uh, I need uh, to install clip bucket inside the root of my subdomain. So you have to just delete it. Database name, you keep it like this. You add something. Cron job, leave it as such. 
Oh uh, yeah, database name cannot be greater than four digits, so I am deleting one digit. And site name I am providing as Orbix demo. Site description I am providing is a demo of uh, Orbix demo. Table prefix limit admin username. Admin password, leave it as such. Email, you provide something like uh, my unused email, like like this. And click select the install button. And here you can enter your email ID. If you enter your email ID in this box, you will be receive. You, you will get all the installation details, like uh, a folder where installed server. Uh, username password in case if you forgot the password you can retrieve it to this email there is one another way to retrieve the admin password i have explained it in the previous article if you go through my blog blog.orbis.in slash author slash anandyan you will be able to see that in this case i am not installing uh, i am not entering anything click send the install button it will take a few minutes. Yes, we have installed a clip bucket. Clip bucket has been installed successfully. This is a URL, this is administrative URL. Now here, if you want to inform your friends, you can select, a, you can just uh, tweet it, provided if you have a tweet handle. If you, if you browse this home, your subdomain you will be able to see a uh, default installation like this this is a default uh, dashboard interface of clip bucket is there are no videos available right now administrative url also you can uh, just i will try now you just click it and you will be able to see a username and password dialog. Username I am entering as admin. Pass. This is the administration dashboard of Clipbucket. You can see several options. You will come to that later. But for now, you just be informed that this is administrative dashboard of Clipbucket. There is one more method. Here you have, uh, we have installed it uh, via Softaculous. There is one more method, that is manual installation. For this purpose, we have to visit the Clipbucket web page. This is the home page of clipbucket.com. Clip-bucket.com. Here there is a download link, download latest version. As you can see, Arvis comes preloaded with Clipbucket. Arvis fully supports Clipbucket installation. There will be no problem. You can install it and enjoy your Clipbucket for your photo. Here you can see uh, option to enter email address. And if you select this button, the appropriate installation package will be downloaded. And it will be look like this. It, it, this will be the zip file clip bucket security fix zip file if you uh, extract it you will find a folder like this you double click this upload button here what you have to do is you have to upload all these files to your uh, home server using ftp and then you have to navigate to the cp uh, underscore install directory suppose if your page is www.abcd.com then your abcd.com slash cb underscore install. You have to follow the instructions provided by the Clipbucket installer. Before initiating this process, you have to create a database and database user from within the cPanel. Otherwise, it will not work. You have to upload all these files. You need not have to worry because there is no need to manually upload each and every files. So just 
extract this, uh, just zip this uh, upload folder like this. As you can see, upload folder zip has been created. You just upload this uh, particular zip folder by FTP to a root directory, for example, your subdomain or direct domain, wherever it may be. Then come to the con uh, cPanel control panel. I am, I am not going back to the cPanel control panel by clicking here. Once you uploaded this up, uh, dot zip, upload dot zip to your FTP, you just have to go through the cPanel, locate the file manager, and you have to go through the options. You have to open the subdomain for something like this. I am opening it. So right now we are not uploaded, but I am just telling the fact. In case of pre-uploaded, you have to go through this process. Suppose if we uploaded this uh, upload.zip here, you will find this file here. You just select and then come uh, select this extract button. The whole upload.zip folder will be extracted and will be visible. And you then need to go back to the FTP and then move all the folders and files to the root. You need not have to upload each and every folder. It will take a lot of time. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. In the upcoming video, I will examine how to upload a video using clip bucket. Thank you.